Hello YouTube, this video is going to pick off where I finished with my video before this on basic uh, UV imaging and mapping. Let me just do this cube, but now I'm going to delete this, this texture. Yeah, it's deleted. I'm going to split the screen. I'm just going to check quickly, yep. The uh, been 100% deleted, so I'm just gonna switch to UV slash image editor. I'm gonna go image new and yeah, go UVs, export UV layout. Now, with the um, the new Blender 2.55, you have the option to export it as a PNG. Now, that's what I'm be using. I think early ver versions only had the um, the sector, the scalables, the SVG and EPS. But honestly, the PNG is probably the better of the three. Now I'm just going to name this quickly. Uh, test. I'm just going to save that and go export UV layout. Once you have it where you want it to be, I'm just going to do mine on desktop. Just go export UV layout. Uh, just minimize out of Blender. Man, I have a lot of crap open. Okay, I'm just gonna open up GIMP. Um, you can do this with Photoshop or any other video editing. Uh, not video, image ed editing software. Um, GIMP is just free. I'm not the best at it. I know that. I'm pretty bad at it, but nonetheless. Uh, I know some of the basics. Uh, blah, blah, file corrupted. Okay, for some reason, when you export the UV layout, there will be two files. There will be the file name, and then there will be the file name .png0001 or something along those lines. And as you see, there is the cube outline right there. So whatever we put in there will show up on that section of the cube. So um Yeah, I'm just thinking what I can put there. I'm sure I've got some pictures I can throw in. Let's throw in this picture here right here. I'm just gonna move it around, throw it there. I'm not gonna go into the details of GIMP. There's plenty of tutorials on YouTube about it. Uh, let's chuck a pentagram on there, why not? Can't hurt. Um, alien, uh, Alienware iPhone. Not iPhone, but Alienware phone. Scale it up. scale doesn't have to be pretty because this is just demonstration purposes you know what I'm just gonna shift duplicate the I'm just gonna duplicate uh, duplicate 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 layer there we go and that's not what I wanted I want move There we go, so let's make a copy of this. Duplicate layer. Chuck that over there. And let's duplicate the layer of the... Um, Alienware phone. Okay, now that I have my pictures on the cubes, like faces, I find that if you don't delete the background image, which is the underlay, that it ends up turning out weird. Um, I'm not going to show you why it turns out. I don't know why it turns out weird. It just does. So, yeah. So, just for safety reasons, if you do it a few times and you find you don't care, don't worry about deleting it. But otherwise, delete the. Um, when you open up the GIMP, it's called the background layer, but. 
yeah so I'm just going to go file save uh, merge visible layers export okay it's saved and as you see there's the new picture there just going to go into blender tab into edit mode select all go image open desktop now find that image there it is go open as you see the images except the pentagram are there oh the pentagram will, the pentagrams are black so that would explain it but now the images are there we can just go if we we'll cooperate there we go um, we got an image, I mean a material this is all while you're in um, edit mode by the way uh, just gonna go new uh, same as before, image or movie um, click here uh, I think it's this one yeah it's that one instead of generated it's gonna be UV I don't know what this layer UV text is, I just do it, I don't know why, well I do know why, I just don't like having to do things more than twice, but yeah, I'm um, going to change it to texture view, ok I won't see the pentagram, oh, actually you know, I do think I do see the pentagram, so let's just render this out, yeah I do see the pentagram, and as you see, we have applied our uh, let's see images to our object except that cross there because yeah the lighting setup still now something you can do is you can add another texture this one is just going to be a let's go wood I know it doesn't matter I'm just showing that you can put more than one on now let's go to this change the diffuse to hmm, red who gives a crap now as you see it, it overcrowds it but nonetheless you can still do it I mean that pentagram looks pretty good but that phone on top looks like crap uh, but yeah so you can apply more than one material at a time I mean one texture, more than one texture at a time you can just apply them at solid material but as you see in the viewport here how it comes up black and the area comes up black there, don't worry about that it should go away but that is my um actually applying images to a an image mapping objects I uh, hope this helps at least one or two people uh, no one requested this but I was doing it the other day oh well not the other day, today when I was making my shield so uh, thanks for watching if there's any tutorials you guys want just ask well, either by comment or message but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.